All right, what's up, my fellow Chads? Welcome back to Super Mario RPG Masters, the game that gives me hell and economy problems. Now, you may be wondering why I'm in Mario's pad. Um, I don't know why I'm in Mario's pad, I'm just kind of here. So anyways, we're gonna go to Roseway, because that's where all the good stuff is. Oh, I also get to see Star Friend. And that's always nice to see Star Friend. Honestly, this in this kind of game, every flower matters. Also, I have no items. <laughs> that's another fantastic thing. Just not having any items. They oops, all the items are removed. Anyways, Mallow's gonna be a lot stronger now. Somnus Waltz. Oh, that just puts them to sleep. <laughs> oh yeah, the timing on the Koopa Shell is also a little different. Oh, okay, you're also gonna put me to sleep? Okay, wake me back up, then. <laughs> Why are these guys piss easy? <laughs> these guys are hella easy, compared to what I had to deal with in the last episode. Good lord. Okay, th this flower might be a problem, actually. But more practically, it's really resistant to... the thunder. And jump, apparently. Yes, thanks for waking me up. These enemies aren't doing, like, any damage, bro. What the hell? <laughs> Hello, chat member. I sorry, compared to, um, the last episode, it was going, like, a little too good. <laughs> Suddenly, the enemies just aren't threatening anymore. It's really weird. Like, the Shy Eyes aren't doing anything. Oh, free flower. I'll definitely take that. Anyways, let me go back to get that mushroom real quick. I how I get back there, though. Not like that. Wait, no, I'll come back. I don't know how to get back there. Yeah, I'm just gonna grab that real quick. Watch out for Star Friend. And... There we go. Ooh, actually... Are these guys gonna be any tougher, I wonder? Um... They don't look much tougher. <laughs> okay, they actually do damage. And then they run away. <laughs> Great fight. Great fight. Okay, so I'm gonna assume I don't wanna fight those guys yet and yet. Yeah, I love how the star friend just dies instantly. I love the dumb little slingshot bullet that pops up. This is a uh, Roseway, aka one of the most useless places to come to in the randomizer. <laughs> there's like no reason to come here in the rando, because there's like basically nothing here. So you can pretty much skip out on it. Well, since I can't kill the crooks right now, um... Well... Very important to get these coins, by the way. You know, I'm not- I've never really been- I never thought I'd be dying for coins like I would be in this. But, here we are. It's like a free 30 coins right there. Oh, wow, this is piss easy loadout. Mal just has so much- he just does so much damage now. <laughs> 
Oh, you don't remember who Cerno is? You don't remember the funky lady? Um, sure, I'll use my flower tab. Why not? Get me up to 20 FP. Now the, um... Now the game's kind of softening up on the difficulty. I'm hoping it picks back up in the forest maze, though, because that's when, like, shit gets good. Hello, Mr. Shy Guy. Wow, Nate Bildorf. Good old Nate Bildorf. Ooh, I do 81 damage now. <laughs> Alright, can you wake Mario up, please? Thank you. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna jump on this shy guy. Bonk. Toxicist. Okay, that's just, you know, that's a poisoning move, your typical poisoning move. I don't remember Grill as being that dangerous, honestly. Oh, that's a free heal. I mean, what the hell are you guys gonna do? You're just gonna run away. Or you're gonna dodge. <laughs> Can't dodge a jump, though. He didn't run away that time. What a surprise. Does he run away when I use Thunderbolt? No, he didn't run away. Again. Okay, I actually got his money this time. Mallow kind of needs some... Um, he kind of needs some healing right now. I know this game better than anybody, so... If there's anything I'd know about this game, be me. Like how Toxicist is, um... an unused move. <laughs> that's not a- that's not a move in the game normally. That's a, uh, unused attack. Which I'm assuming was gonna be for, like, the Amanita or something. There are a bunch of unused pallets in the files for the game. So, I mean, that's something. Hey, I got a Sun Rhapsody for free, and I got 25 coins. What? Why is there no Moony in there? Is that a bug? I'm out of FP. Crap. <laughs> Probably best if I just run away then. Sorry, I saw something. That's weird. Why doesn't the, uh... Why doesn't that chest have any Moony inside of it? Anyways, we got Bower. And all the Foony enemies, like the... The team of five Cody's! Five Cody's, man. Damn, okay. Woo! By the way, it's it's a lot more obvious than the re on the re in the remake what that is because in the remake the Goombas are actually female. They actually established that, at least some of them. Yeah, actually all the I think all the Goombas are female in that in that troop. So the Goomba, what the Goomba's doing there is like she's showing off like her her charm or whatever, and that's what that's supposed to be. <laughs> it's not very obvious though in this version because the Goombas are pretty androgynous. Get that free flower, that free frog coin. We got some. We got a shop. I can finally buy shroom juice. Why does it cost so damn much? I kind of need to buy some one-ups, honestly. That's what I'm worried about right now. Uh, I suppose I can sell the hammer now. Don't need that anymore. Knoll's mushroom, honestly. This prevents transformations, but this gives me attack power. I'm gonna put this on because we don't want to become a mushroom. 
Unfortunately, though, this means I won't have enough moon meat to buy the the red sweater or the baggy pants. Forest cloak. Protects against sleep poison and mushroom status. That's the Koopa shell that I already have. There's the spore ring again. The topaz gem. Null's thunder damage. Interesting. See, now that would be pretty OP against the boss. <laughs> but you just don't get any money in this game. I feel like the Terrapins were kind of, like, succeeded by Koopa Trolls in the Paper Mario series. That's probably why Terrapins never came back. So I believe if you say, um... No, and then you say, like, sorry, he'll give you a good reward. <laughs> I think that changes what you get in there anyway. Hey guys, it's the title screen music. <laughs> Oh yeah, then rip Koopa Trolls. At least TTYD Remake exists. Oh yeah, so guys, I actually was able to kind of help out how is I today. I showed him... So, so, so he was trying to dump the data.arc from Smash Ultimate. And he, he, got, he got it to dump. But the problem is that somehow he overwrote all of his atmosphere plugins, and I have no fucking idea how that happens, because I've never dumped the data.arc to my atmosphere folder. I don't know how that works, because here's the thing, I dumped my data.arc from my actual copy of Smash Ultimate, but he just dumped it, um, he dumped the ROM FS with, like, Yuzu or whatever. So, I, I don't know how he fucked it up that badly, and it somehow overwrote all his plugins. So, I was, like, just not in the best mood yesterday, because I was just like, I don't fucking feel like troubleshooting Smash Ultimate modding right now, because Smash Ultimate modding is a pain in the ass sometimes. Like, when the shit, when the shit doesn't want to work. So I was like, fine, let's get it over with, we we'll do it today. And so I had him reinstall, um, Skyline and Arcropolis, and... I don't know if it works or not, because I kind of left preemptively because I was just getting fed up. <laughs> but I'm hoping it worked now because we basically reinstalled Acropolis and Skyline. And hopefully it'll work now and hopefully we can actually play Trash. Because, you know, Trash is peak. Why play Vanilla Ultimate anymore? Vanilla Ultimate's terrible. <laughs> trash is so much better. You know, it's like, why play Street Fighter 2 when you can play Street Fighter 2 Turbo, you know? You know what I mean? Exactly. Or, um... You know, what's another example of something like that? <laughs> I don't know. I, I can't think of it, because I would have I would have said something like, Why play Mario 3 when you can play All-Stars Mario 3? But, honestly, Mario 3 on the NES has its charm, and I like it. So, I, honestly, I might be one of those weirdos who prefers the original NES versions over the All-Stars versions. I've already made that point pretty clear a long time ago. Oh yeah, we gotta kinda wait this scene out. I think in the remake, they actually make it so that you can't move around in this cutscene? Oh, that could be wrong. So you just gotta stand near the, uh, the loading zone and wait it out. Okay, so little known fact, though, about this. I, I, I feel like not everybody knows about this. But if you sleep at the inn after reloading the room, you get a little cutscene with Toad here. And Toad gives you a free flower tab, which is great. So... By the way, this flower tab does not show up after you beat Bowyer. So this is one of those permanently missable ones, and I'm glad I got it. So, yeah. Although, to be honest, <laughs> I'm really hurting for cash right now, so I kind of want to sell that flower tab, since I think I'm good on FP, honestly. I kind of need the money. 
So we're gonna buy a couple Sun Rhapsodies. Let's buy like four. Um, get like a maybe another one up, and then I think we could finally we could buy our armor. I think. You glitched through one of the stages and had to barely snap the ledge in order to survive. Yeah, that's ultimate for you. So I could buy the safety vest. Doesn't increase my defense, though, as far as I know. Um, so this is just a better version of the... Um, this is just a better version of the shroom, uh, the shroom thing that I have. The spore ring. This is also weak to fire, though. So, honestly, might just be ideal to get two of these and sell the spore ring. Wait, no, these are these are these are clothes. Yeah. Okay. So I don't need to buy actual armor then, because these are just better. So yeah, protects against all statuses. That's good. And then these still give me mat. These still give me a mat uh, like attack and magic attack. So, I guess I can sell my old equipment now. And... Honestly, I might sell the anti-form pins. Because, like, I might sell one of them. Because now we have a, another trans- We have- This just protects against transformations anyway. Well, sleep, poison, and mushroom, which is like half the statuses in the game. <laughs> Doesn't protect against fear or scarecrow, but scarecrow is fine. I don't really care about scarecrow. And fear, you know, fear is a naturally pretty broken status, and you know they're not going to give you f fear protection until way later. So yeah. Either way, this would be pretty fucking nice to have, but everything's too expensive in this game. We're gonna save up our money, so we have four hundred bucks. I think we'll be fine with what we have. Also, you get a bunch of free mushrooms in this dungeon, too. And another star, star caracola. Yeah. Whoops. Ooh, what is that thing? What is that mushroom? That's a, uh, blue amanita. Ooh. <laughs> How surprising. Oh, it's immune to thunder? Scarecrow, even though Scarecrow is annoying, it's not really that bad, because it just means you can't use physical attacks. Which, you're gonna be using a lot of magic anyway, so it's not a big deal. Well, at least you're not immune to- at least you're not immune to jump. Oh yeah, suddenly the enemies are, like, way tougher again. <laughs> They're actually doing shit. Oh, you're gonna heal? Oh no. <laughs> The blue Amanita heals itself. That's not good. How am I gonna kill him then? Well, let's focus on the Wigglers then. Oof. That that attack sucks. See, suddenly, suddenly there's just another big difficulty spike, which is honestly what I was expecting. I kind of need to get out of here. <laughs> well, I don't think you can... You, you can't really run that easily when you have the fear status, if I remember correctly. That... That, that fight kind of sucked. <laughs> Let's go save. I, I should probably, like, absolutely make sure I save. If I don't save, I'm going to regret it. There we go. Now I don't have to worry about getting a game over. Well, how many frog points do I have? I have eight. <laughs> so, like, if I wanted to, I could maybe get something from the, uh... From the shop. Well, personally, I'm kind of waiting on that. I'm kind of waiting on, like, getting something good. Oh, I would like to jump on the Wiggler enough times. Alright, let's try and kill this blue Amanita, then. Since it's deciding to be a bitch and healing a lot. Oh yeah, right, I didn't heal. <laughs> My bad. Oh, bye Mario. Might have to- might have to re- 
reset. Because I fucking died. <laughs> I'm so glad this game has a dedicated reset button. And I've memorized it for years. Well, here's the thing. Do I, restore, do I respawn with my health? No, I don't. I have to sleep in the end again. Bitch. I don't know how to kill the blue Amanita. He doesn't want to die. Maybe I'll skip the blue Amanita then. Fight a diff. Try some other enemies. Thing is, if I don't fight them, how am I gonna get levels? <laughs> That's the problem. Levels are so hard to come by in this game. I got a level 9, but still. And I don't get a new spell until, like, 12 and 13, so that's not gonna happen. You know, screw it. No, don't, who fucking cares about the Wailer? Fight a different enemy. I'll fight the- I'll fight the red ones. Oh boy. Look at this, look at this loadout, holy shit. Oh my god, the B. The B is weak to thunder still. Well, here's the gorilla. Everybody's favorite enemy. And he doesn't actually do that much damage. Oh, you also have Toxicist. Thankfully, I have protection against that. Blitz. Ow. Okay, never mind. That actually hurts. Fuck. I didn't guard, though, to be fair. Okay, I'm glad the challenge is, like, wrapping back up again. <laughs> that makes me very happy. Alright, let's try and kill the gorilla. Bye. Okay, we actually got a- we actually do, did a loadout. We got 5 experience, 18 coins, no Sun Rhapsody. That's good. See, now we have a decent amount of items, so I'm less worried. We got 5 Sun Rhapsodies, that's pretty good. More would be nice, obviously. Oh, what the fuck? Why is the Karaboskis here? Are they saving the Radish for Moleville or something? Ow. He hits hard, too. Get out of here. Oh shit, he, he lived. Give him my FP back. Bro! <laughs> Why does bro hit so hard? Okay, he's gone. Yeah, you really need that thunder spell. Oh, I got a red shroom back. Oh, yay, we leveled up. Let's go. I'm gonna give Malo some more defense. He kind of needs it anyway. Well, that means Mario's probably gonna level up soon, so I should probably not even bother. Probably just... Oh, no. Oh, no, he's back. Oh, no. I can't beat this guy, bro. Beating this guy is, like, impossible. I'm leaving. Hmm. Yeah, I guess he's a red shroom. No harm in doing that. Okay, this loadout is very doable. Thankfully, thank god the bee dies in one hit from that. Miss! Bonk. 140, man, that, that is some good damage. Not quite a level up, though. Oh, 
Man, the, the Sun Rhapsies aren't quite feeling all my FP anymore, either. There's a frog coin. See, if I didn't know where all of the um, treasure locations were, this, this would be a lot harder, honestly. Another flower. Do I bother fighting any of the Wigglers? We'll get the funny gag chest. Okay, this loadout I can do. This is a doable loadout. Might be in my best interest to get rid of the Amanitas. Especially because they like to do this shit over and over. I mean, I could just use the Thunder again. Then again, the Wigglers are really strong, so... Yeah. Jump! Bye. Yeah, Mario's jump is so strong. Like, never underestimate how good Mario's jump is in this game. Ah, 10 HP. That's pretty damn good. That's why upgrading HP on a level up's never good, because you only you always get like 10 anyways, so. I'm gonna keep upgrading his magic. I'm gonna make I'm gonna build a magic Mario in this run. <laughs> It's not something I usually do, but I like doing that every now and then. I like mixing it up. Another Star Caracola. I mean, you really need those early game anyway. He sleep. Oh yeah, they replaced the um the rats with Amanitas. I just noticed. There's no regular, um, there's no regular ones anymore. Holy shit, this, this battle's gonna take forever, bro. There's so many Amanitas. And who knows if they're gonna spam Spore Sister or go for the tackle. Oh, I wasn't ready for that. Uh, I think I'm gonna, think I'm gonna heal up Mallow. He kind of needs it right now. Yeah, kill all the Amanitas. We need to get rid of them. There we go. I love little mix-ups, you know? Brig. I think we're coming up on a free heal soon, so I'm not gonna waste my FP. That's some good experience right there. I don't think we're getting out of the level level before the boss, so we might as well just, you know, carry on. I'm gonna skip the rest of the enemies, probably. So how many of these are items, and how many of these are fake? So I'll take whatever I can get. Now I'm actually going mushroom picking. It's crazy. Oh yeah, here's the funny one. The funny one that just pops out and trolls you. Alright, so here's this area. This cool, cool room. Awakening. Invincibility for three turns and boost all stats. Kinda reminds me of Devil Trigger. Except Bell Trigger doesn't really make you invincible, it just makes you have super armor. And makes you take less damage. Alright, so... I remember the order. This is just one of those things you can never forget. Ow. Fuck, I forgot to heal my FP. I'm out of here. Cause there's a, there's a heal coming up anyway. I'm, I'm not I'm not trying to fight these guys. I want whatever's in here. Whoop. Money. 
Did they nerf this? They nerfed this. It's it's a bit of money now. I got 568 coins. It's still not bad. Okay, now I'll go save. And we're coming up on the boss, so... You know, we want to be prepared as possible. We'll see if we can beat Bowyer at level 10. That's gonna be a tough challenge, but we'll see. Here we go, mushroom picking. Yeah. Oh, hey, it's the Octolot. He's still here. Oh, you can also do that. <laughs> Yeah, I hear bees. I hate you, bees. I hate you, bees. <laughs> huh, more sun rhapsodies. Wonder if it's because the bees help out with the sun. Alright. Um, I probably don't need to do the sun rhapsody here. We got six of them. We're more than prepared for the boss, I think. So, if we run out of items, uh,. That's a skill issue. Blue Bowyer. He's blue now. He's not green anymore. Who do you think you are, Bruce Lee? Rip Bruce Lee in the remake, guys. This means, this means I can never get old, by the way. Especially considering how much more awesome it was made by, like, RPG Armageddon. <laughs> Armageddon, like, made that song badass. Yeah. I'm blue! So, Mac was purple. Bowyer's blue. What's next? Uh, Uridovich is gonna be yellow? <laughs> I don't know. Also, the level wrapping in this this map goes kind of hard. Bang your music right here. Falcon Punch. <laughs> Bonk. I love how Mario just kicks the arrow out of the way. <laughs> like, there are so many funny creative liberties with this game that no other Mario RPG does. And that's what I love about this game so much, is there's just so many stupid things that, like, are really absurd, but also great. Like, Mario kicking an arrow. <laughs> oh, he does- he does the, uh, button thing immediately. Oh, good, and they're colored. Perfect. That's what I like to see. So... What, what, what we can probably do is just have Mallow... Melee. Because Thunder is kind of useless against this guy. Also, I want to see how much fire does against him. And is it better than jump? <laughs> 97. Yeah, that's not bad. I used to be in the... That's new. They made Geno's move an elemental attack. Ooh! That's pretty good, actually. Sleep shot. And of course, it's gonna do damage and try to put me asleep. I don't know how much FP I have left. Probably have a decent amount still. So I think we'll be fine. And thankfully, um, Gino has a lot of health, so... He'll be okay in terms of health. 
He's just very, you know, frail. He, he takes a lot of damage. But that's always a thing with Gino. It doesn't matter how good you make his armor, he's just gonna be super, like, glass cannon. Off. Oh, here comes Static E. It's gonna hurt big time. Yikes. Alright, so the fire did like 90 damage. I want to see how much jump it does in comparison. 98. It's it's about the same, honestly. Okay, let's use a Sun Rhapsody before I forget. Oh fuck, what's he doing? What, what do you do? I think we need to guard. Arrow Rain. Yeah, I know my shit. Oh, holy shit. I kind of want to star Carol Cola after that. Yeah, probably for the best. <laughs> I think he gets a turn. I think he, like, loses a turn from that, though. Thank God for the star Carol Colas, man. I tell you what. Wow. Off. Ooh, perfect guard. Let's go. <laughs> now we're not doing very much, though. Alright, we're, we're doing good. Ooh, there we go. Much better. Oh, he has lightning orb, I see. The thing is, is, spells don't, like... They don't go up and attack magic attack power, so if a boss uses, like, lightning orb on you late game, it's pretty much guaranteed to do, like, one damage. <laughs> Just because it's naturally a really shitty spell. <laughs> Alright, I guess we'll see how Shock Storm does to him. Probably nothing. Actually, it did 78, surprisingly. Not bad. We're pumping out damage. Like, it's nothing now. And he's weak to ice, so that's pretty cool. <laughs> oh crap, he's going for it again. The thing is, is Mario gonna live? Oh yeah, we live. I guess we can heal everybody. We gotta turn to heal, basically. Freebies up the ass here. Oh, it's going for sleep shot again. Yeah, I think that warrants another heal, honestly. I'm just gonna heal everybody a second time. Because the heals just aren't that great right now. So how many times does he do that? How many times does he do that? Like... I don't know. Oh, right. Gino doesn't have sleep immunity. Because he's new. <laughs> well, um... If Gino dies, that's kind of too bad. Oh, he's back. <laughs> yeah, let's get him back up. I mean, how many red shrooms do I have left now? I'm down to four, so yeah. We use quite a bit there. Bonk. Kind of in the low point of the fight. Mm. Static E. That still does a lot of damage. Oh boy. What am I gonna do about that, though? Mm. 
There's not much I can do about that. I'm running out of FP as well. Yeah, as expected, he's he's going for that. Alright, Mario, sack yourself. Use the Sun Rhapsody. Face it head on. <laughs> it was worth it, though. And I got a freebie back, so we're all good. Plus, that 160 damage from Ice Beam, pretty damn good. He's going over Sleep Shot again. Alright, that's fine. He, I mean, it's honestly, that's better, because Gino's going to sleep anyway. So, we might as well just wake him up with a 1-up. And then, beat the Shadow of Bowie with the Koopa Shell. And then we can uh, heal up Mallow. I would really appreciate if you let me use my magic again. But I don't know how much FP I have. I mean, I have lots of FP. I'll be fine. There we go. <laughs> Bowyer basically decides if you get to do damage to him or not. Hello, chat member. Alright, we're gonna just go all out, I think. Get my jump count up too, you know, bring it up to 102. Gino's the go to this fight though for that 160 damage. Alright, we're gonna guard again. <laughs> Someone ranking every boss in this game? That's not a bad idea. I should do a boss ranking of this game. We basically get a free turn here, so I'm cool with this. No, I can't use magic now. Sad. Oh, and he's dead. <laughs> Alright, that wasn't too bad, honestly. Axum Rangers at number one is base. Power all. My name is Dookie Nookie. My favorite little trivia about Gino is that in the Japanese version, they use these weird-ass characters that are not used anywhere else in the game. I wonder how many people know about that one. <laughs> we gotta collect the seven Chaos Crystal Stars... things... to beat the game. They're not even crystal. That's the greatest part. I love how like three three games in a row they just use the Mario the like the star trope. It's like star pieces, star spirits, crystal stars. <laughs> and then they went over the hearts for a game, and then they went and then where the fuck sticker star did. Oh and then they went back to stars again for color splash. <laughs> yeah. And then streamers for Origami King. Because I'm a streamer. And streamers are cool. So, uh, here's when the game gets good, because we actually have a third party member, and we actually kind of, we can actually dish out a bunch of damage. And it's way better. Well, and also Superstar Saga has the Bean Star. 
And then Partners in Time has the Cobalt Star. And Bowser's Inside Story has the Star Cure. <laughs> like this, every game has stars. Anything worth buying in here? Well, I mean, I could buy a few more red shrooms, that's for sure. Yeah, I got a Sun Rhapsody. So, so power all... Boost all allies attack and magic attack. Yeah, it's basically power... What's it called? Um, I forgot what the name of the move... What the name of the item is. Something power, I really do. I know that. Power Blast. There we go. Uh, so, I can get the Forest Cloak for Gino now. Although, I think you get new equipment in the next town anyways, so it's not really... You know, really, it doesn't really matter, honestly. Anyways, let's get a free weapon for Gino. Because that's always good. The Dark Star, yeah. Dark Star Edition. And, um... I think Paper Jam and Dream Team don't have anything star-related. At least not to my memory. So you're safe from that, Dream Team and Paper Jam. Well, and who knows what Brothership's gonna have? Oh yeah, the, the Star Bros attack, I guess, counts. Somehow I feel like, um... Brothership is gonna have a whole Wind Waker thing going on where you gotta like collect pieces of a boat or whatever. If that's not in the game, I'd be surprised. So I mean I'm kinda looking forward to seeing like just what the main collectible in that game is. Alright, so we get the we get a free weapon for Gino. Always nice to see. Oh, the torn cape. He actually starts out with an accessory. Or a well. A piece of gear. We can also give him the anti antiform pin, which is nice. Gives him a bit of extra defense. You know, it's too defense, but it's something. It seems gonna get a lot harder when I have to start prioritizing more party members. Oh yeah, is the pipe vault gonna be challenging? You know what? Uh, I'll come back to the pipe vault in a bit. I want to save. Uh, you guys know how much I love Paper Jam. I swear it's like one of my favorite Mario and Luigi's at this point. Well, I, 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 this might be a hot take, but objectively, I think Paper Jam is better because the combat is just so fun in that game. Like, I like Bowser's Sentai Story. Like, yeah, the story's better. But I'm not looking at it from a story perspective. I'm looking at it from, like, how fun it is to play. And Paper Jam is just way more fun to play than Bowser's Insight Story. Are you guys gonna kick my ass? No, you guys are chill. Mm, I mean, Superstar Saga is basic. It, it's a, it has a battle system that never gets old, honestly, and it's really snappy, too. So, yeah. Alright, out of curiosity, how much does Thunder do to these guys? In the original, these guys are, like, super resistant to magic attacks. Well, I think that I, uh, that's my answer, then. And also, Gino just- he can't take shit. He can't take any attacks. Hey, we got- we got 25 FP now, though. That's pretty good. How are you not dead yet? Okay, there we go. Jeez. Thank you, guys. Keep in mind, I'm gonna have to fight these guys in the mines later. So, if I'm having trouble with them now. It's not gonna be very even fun later. Yeah, just keep, just keep attacking them. Oof, that is, that's some good damage, though. One twenty. <laughs> that's how much. You, that's how much health those guys have in vanilla. They have a hundred twenty, and they have way more than that now. 
Hmm, I like that damage. Uh, so we got three experience for that. Man, I wish experience split was not a thing. Well, I don't know, I feel like it's better because, you know, you get levels quick. You get levels at a decent pace anyway. Hmm, I'm gonna refrain from healing, I think. Are, there, are the Goombas gonna be stronger? Oh, well, <laughs> the Goombas are normal enemies. Because they have the normal battle music. One experience point and three coins. Um, should I bother fighting the plant gang? Oh no, the blue Amanita's back! Well, maybe I can take him this time. What if he's weak to, like... What if he's weak to ice? I don't know. You know what, let's try it. Is he weak to ice? He has to be weak to ice, there's like no way. Holy shit! And he didn't die from that, either? Stench. Smelly. Oh, oh, that did a lot of damage. No, Mario! Oh, I hate this guy so much, bro. I don't know if it's worth wasting a 1-up on this, though. Here, let me re reload this fight. I think it's best if I use the healing rain on everybody. Let me try that again. Now that I know what I'm doing. Do a little bit of extra damage. Well, when the plant gangs can go through themselves, I don't care about them. It's literally just the same move, but it's renamed to <laughs> Ice Beam. <laughs> but I mean, that's honestly smart. 58? Bro, why does it do so much? Yeah, oh, he- wait, he healed the plant? Why? Why did he do that? <laughs> does he want to die or something? <laughs> His AI broke. He still lived. Uh-oh. I still don't know how to kill the blue Amanita, guys. Ow. Is Gino dead? Oh, he didn't heal that time. That time. Okay. I'm okay with that. You know what? You know what? We gotta use a Sun Rhapsody. We need to kill this blue Amanita before anything goes bad. Punchinello. Great enemy. Great boss. Get out of here, blue Amanita. You live too long. Finally. This better be worth it, bro. Uh-oh. Is Gino dead? <laughs> oh, he's, he's dead. He's fucking dead. Okay, fine, he's a one-up. Let's try the fireball. Okay, now that's pretty good. <laughs> and he uses fire against me. That's funny. Yeah, that's, that's some good damage, I tell you. What? All the Mario games have- all the Mario PGs have banger music, so... That was just an inside story, you know. <laughs> you're cheating. Although I will agree that the, um, the DS version is better than the remake. Because, uh... I don't know, it just felt more challenging. Which is good. 
All right, now I'm basically shit out of luck in terms. Wait, lime shroom? What the hell is lime shroom? That was 120. Oh, it's just a better red shroom. Okay. Yeah, sun rhapsodies are starting to not be as good anymore. Uh, get a frog coin, frog coin, and a flower. Pretty sure those don't those don't recover my F FP though. Hey man, we're doing pretty good on frog coins though, I'd say. Hey, might step right up to do some Goomba thumping. They they kind of nerfed this mini game in the remake, honestly. Now, for anybody who doesn't know, my strategy for playing this game is going left to right because it's really consistent. And you never lose track of, um... You never lose track of, like, you know, where your axis is. So I think you just need to get 20 points and then you can call it a day. <laughs> you can do better than that. Nah, I'm good. I'm good, man. Unless they made the score higher or something. So you get a flower tab. This seems unchanged. <laughs> but this is very worth doing, trust me. <laughs> yeah, you gotta get 22. 22 points. Just pretend the up and the up and down pipes don't exist. Yeah. <laughs> so you could pl technically play this game as many times as you want. For one simple reason, it's the fact that um you get frog coins every time you play. You get a flower vase for free, by the way. You get that for free. Like you just play you just play a bit of Goomba thumping. I mean, I got lots of money. I could play this minigame a few more times. Oh I need the extra frog coins anyway. Basically just play until you can't you can't win the minigame. So now we need to get 24 points. Oh, I missed the golden gumba, bro. Mm. I just barely got 24 that time. Yo, I got a follower! Hell yeah. <laughs> that was random. You got a frog coin. Alright, let me try one more time. Hello, chat member. Alright, I'll play this one more time. If I can't get a 26, I'll just piss off, probably. <laughs> Bro, what is that? What is that RNG? <laughs> What is this RNG, bro? I'm, I'm really cocking it up. Yeah, I'm just gonna go. <laughs> we, I got my frog coin, I'm happy. <laughs> Post the messages from Mallow Psychopath? I mean, if you want. <laughs> I'm assuming these Gumbas are unchanged. Another flower. No, my Moonie. No, my Moonie. Why is there all- I still don't know why there's only 20 coins in that block, by the way. <laughs> 
This is, um... This is Super Mario RPG Masters. I found it on Game Banana randomly, and I said, yeah, I'll play it. Bye, Plant Gang. Yeah! Alright. Oh, he, 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 he's still lar he's still around. That's not good. Also, I have no idea why that does so much damage. Mm. Yeah, we should probably heal Mario. Probably for the best. Plant Gang is not boring. Come on. I'm kind of wondering if I should do the Yoshi, the Yoshi stuff, or not. I wonder if that's worth doing. Moon Serenade? What the fuck is that? What is that? Recovers 50 flower points. Oh, crap. So it's a better version of the Sun Rhapsody, then. Weird. I think this is the end of the dungeon, by the way. Yeah, frog coin. Yeah, good old Josh. Josh's place. You know, I, I don't usually play the, um, I don't usually play the Yoshi stuff, but, yeah. <laughs> Yoshi got cookies. Also, the sprite overlapping, it's kind of wild on Yoshi. <laughs> ah, get me out. Are you cracked? I'm stuck. I can't- I can't get out. Did I just softlock myself? I oh, know we're fine. Alright, well... Let's see how bad I am at this, cuz... Yeah. Well, it's like, what, it's like A and B, rhythmically? Cheese it. Like, I just barely got it. <laughs> I remember as a kid, that was like the hardest shit to do. Because I wasn't musically inclined like I am now. Right now. Yeah, Yoshi cookie. Well, actually, I be I don't believe the um the baby Yoshi doesn't even activate like right now anyway. Like, I don't think you get him until like at least after Moville. All right, let's see how much Moony we have. We got six thirty eight. That's pretty good. We can definitely do the Moleville arc today. Boshi. He's so cool. Definitely save as much as possible. Alright, well, here we go. What's in the shop? We got triple glove. Ooh. 
kind of goes hard. Symbols. Minus five, ne negative five speed? That's weird. The symbols aren't even good. What the fuck? What is the point of what is the point of them? The Fuchsia staff is way better. Is there like a sir is there like a secret effect to them that I don't know about or what? Well how much does the glove do? The glove is 15. It's like way worse than the Fuchsia staff in every way. Plus, the Fugis Tag gives me three speeds, so... Yeah. Alright, what kind of armor can we get? Pure shirt? Black cape? Pure jeans? And for some reason, you can buy the torn cape here. So we can get the, um... Well, let me think about this. We can give, uh, oh, we can't give the cloak. Wait, no, we can. We can give the cloak to Gino and make it so we don't have to buy him armor. Because the cape is just worse. But we will get the Hewer shirt. Well, I don't know if these are worth it, honestly. Because, like, the cloak, it, it prevents statuses and it still gives you five defense anyway. So, to be honest, oh, the cape doesn't sell for anything. <laughs> Yeah, you buy it for one coin in the shop. Okay, here's what I'm gonna do, i tell you what. I'm gonna go back to Rose Town, and we're gonna buy another cape. It's like our cloak. <laughs> I guess the... Well, he clearly edited the this, stat, this, like the weapon. He clearly edited the stats. Because it lowers Mallow's speed by five. Yeah, we're just gonna get another cloak for Mallow, honestly. It's like, you get four defense, seven magic defense, like, it's not really worth it, honestly. Better just to have this on everybody. Like, I don't know what the point of the symbols are, I'm gonna sell them. The forest cloak is just better in every way. Um... I mean, the Topaz gem will be nice, eventually. But we got a lot of Yoshi cookies, actually. Surprised these went into my inventory. Yeah, maybe I can actually use the Yoshi cookie in combat. See, so, yeah, I'm honestly not sure what the deal with the symbols are, honestly. Like, <laughs> why are they that bad? Why do they lower his speed and just give him less attack than what he has normally? I don't really get it, honestly. No, there's only three Cody's now and not five Cody's from earlier. Not enough Cody's. We need more Cody's. I'd argue that the Moleville arc is one of the harder arcs in the game. So, uh, hopefully this doesn't absolutely destroy me, but we'll see. This, this dopey music. So glad I have auto fire, man. It's making this way easier. Alright, how bad are the magmites? Let's find out. Well, it's not looking good so far. Well, they take a lot of damage from ice. <laughs> That's great. They're immune to jump. Oh man. Well, that's no fun. I'm mean, guess I guess they have a crap ton of defense. 
Yeah, one damage. So, uh, Gino has to solo these guys, then. In other words... I mean, that's- I'm fine with that, I can deal with that. Viroplasm? Oh yeah, Gino's protect against statuses now. You know what I forgot to do? I forgot to buy items at the shop. I should probably do that, honestly. Two experience for all that. Yeah, let's buy. Let's go buy some items. I think I think we can afford to buy some, right? Well, I mean, we have Moon Serenade, which those are pretty decent items, I'd say. Of course, fifty. I mean, I don't have fifty FP though, so I don't know if these are gonna be worth it. We'll just buy Sun Rhapsodies instead, because they're cheaper. Buy one up. Buy some red shrooms too, I think. Yeah, I think that's good enough. I have nothing to sell. I could sell the um I could sell the flower tab. Cause I have a flower base. So, yeah. And we'll sleep at the end too, because why not? <laughs> I'm just selling all my flower tabs. It's kinda funny. But I mean, hey, it's free money, you know? I need all the money I can get in this game, and as far as I know, there's not really an easy way to grind money, so... Yeah. How many frog coins do I have? I have 15. I think there's anything I can buy from the frog coin emporium now? Hmm. That's a good question. Mmm, these are 30, so not really. Galaxy Blast. I would love to say uh, for the Star Egg, honestly. It does all effects. Hmm. Well, um, Sleepy Bombs are also pretty nice, too, though. Hmm. Yeah, I really want to save up for those, to be honest. Oh yeah, can I buy some good stuff here? Oh yeah, Cosmic Cookies. Hmm. That's not a bad item, honestly. I might buy one. Just one. It boosts attack and defense, specifically. You never know when those will come in handy. Like, getting a handy. Hello, you're back. Flame! I mean, I do kind of want to find out what the Yoshi cookie will do against these guys. So you know what? We're gonna use the Yoshi cookie for the first time in, like, ever? I don't think I've ever used a Yoshi cookie on screen before. We got, um, a candy. Is the Yoshi candy any good? I don't know, we'll look at it after battle. Let's try it on the Enigma. So far, this is kind of ass. <laughs> That's not bad. That's not bad damage. Should I try it on, like, a weaker enemy? Like a Goomba or something? I'm not sure what you want, game. Or maybe the Magmite, I don't know. Actually, Ice Beam. Won't the Ice Beam work on the Potaboos? Oh yeah, that is some good damage. 
That did nothing. Alright, keep the damage coming. <laughs> Yikes, that damage output. Bro's tanky. There we go. Got him. I need to go back and heal after this, honestly. Yeah, by this point, I would have switched to the symbols. But the Fuchsia Staff is just so much better. So that gives me four experience. Oh, Malwell levels up, at least. Let's list up his magic. He kind of needs it. Oh, we're fighting a... Fighting a Magmite. Um, yeah, we'll do Shock Storm. <laughs> Kill the Magmite, get him out of here at least. Well, I was gonna use the Yoshi Cookie on him, but maybe I can use the Yoshi Cookie on the Bob Bomb now. Three times, and that hasn't worked. And you wonder why I don't use this mechanic very often. Well, I'm pretty sure the Yoshi candies are pretty good. Are pretty are actually pretty good though. Like for healing. They heal a hundred normally. Oh, and exploded. Fourteen bucks. Okay, how how good are Yoshi candies? Recover two hundred fifty-five, so they're a full heal then. Because two hundred fifty-five HP is like the max you can do anyway. Actually, out of curiosity, how much do those sell for now? Are they are they worth more than the Yoshi cookies? Probably not, if I had to guess. Let's find out. Probably not worth anything. They're worth 70. They're worth less than the cookies. Okay. I could probably buy, um... Few more red shrooms, you know, that's always nice. Nice sun wrap seeds do I have? Uh six and one moon serenade. We just don't have enough FP for it to really be worth it, honestly. Alright. <laughs> well, let's let's begin the frickin' Croco thing. Pixelation. I love the pixelation effect. Can't remember if that's in the remake or not, though. Get those coins back. Ooh, boy. There's a, <laughs> he said, ooh, boy. Croco is Sojiro confirmed. My left ear really enjoyed that explosion noise. If I'm not mistaken, if I come back in one of these rooms... You know, we're gonna do something a little different. We're gonna do this in reverse order. Holy shit, that's a lot of, uh, that's a lot of crooks. They still do a decent amount of damage, too. That's the crazy part. Yeah, you, you guys you guys done having your turn yet? <laughs> wow. Took them a little while. Oh boy. 
You guys are getting- you guys still have turns left over. Alright, hopefully this kills. Okay, good. We got 75 coins for that. That's really good. Alright, um... I'll go physical this time. He had a flower tab. So these guys all have flower tabs. Just like in the original. Pretty damn good. I love that the lightning is actually yellow instead of uh, blue. Oh, you guys are all gonna run now? Actually, they don't run as often as I thought they would. Oh. M miss! Thankfully, you can't dodge a jump. This is why I love jump. It's basically a physical that never misses. I think they just always evade your attacks or something. You have to kill them with magic. Could be wrong about that. He dropped another flower tab. Hell yeah. So, Mario learns a new spell at level 12. I'm assuming it's just super jump. And it's probably gonna cost a lot of FP. That would make a lot of sense if it did. And Gino doesn't learn Gino boost until level 15. Actually, Gino gets a level up pretty soon, so that's good. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. No. Yes. At least a fire tab. We're gonna get a bunch anyway. We gotta dodge the onslaught from the crooks. <laughs> and then they get turn they all get turns again. And then for some reason that one moves late. <laughs> I don't know why. Perfect damage. Silver bar? What's that? I don't know, but I like it. Hmm. Magic. Oops, all magic. What is silver bar? Is that something you sell for money? It sells for a thousand coins. So as much as a flower tab, then. Great. I'm gonna sell that right now, then. I'm imagining there's a gold bar that sells for 2,000 later in the game. It's pretty cool. <laughs> They're rare. Well, and the flower tabs themselves sell for a lot too, you know? Huh. I'm almost able to afford one of those really good uh, pieces of equipment. I think about another Moon Serenade, another 1-Up, I think, and then I'll be good. And then we'll sleep at the end again. Because why the hell not? Man, isn't Moleville going great so far, guys? I mean, hey, if I get- I, I'm pretty much guaranteed to get Mario up to level 12 before Punchinello, at least. I can guarantee that. Thing is, doesn't- isn't Punchinello immune to jump anyway, though? So it won't matter. <laughs> well, looks like the enemies don't respawn. At least I don't think they do. Come back here, Croco. But he's just starting out the battle with an attack. Hmm. How does this shock storm do to him? 
81, that's not bad. Also, I wonder if fire's still good against him. It should be. Oof. I love that damage, man. Two hundred. Yeah, that's really good. He has hammers now. Okay, sure, Croco. You do you. Mario's fireball does even more than. Gino's Ice Beam. Honestly amazing, really. Damn, I love that damage. I wasn't expecting him to go into this phase so soon. Ow. Alright, well... I save my FP though for a heal in case I need it. Yeah, like if Mario is uh, feared, for example. Lottery. Oh, Mario's dead. I think. Well, uh, this fight's not going well now. Especially if we can do that. <laughs> good to know that he, um... Good to know that hitting him six times got him down to this phase. So... If I die, I know what exactly what the threshold is. Lottery. Rat! There's a rat in there. I'm just gonna go on go and keep going until I can't hold out anymore. Oh, he's using the heal now? What? Why is he using the heal now? He didn't use the heal in his first fight, but now he's using it. Yeah, I might have to reset. <laughs> That's That wasn't going very well. That fight is only hard because he takes your items. That's the only thing that's hard about it. Other than that, it's, like, honestly fine. <laughs> I just didn't know when he was going to take my items, so now I know, so that's going to make this a lot easier. Well, I got a better idea, actually. Well, no, let's just do, it. Let's just do the, the fight the exact same way, except when Mario's turn comes, we use a Sun Rhapsody instead. That's the only thing we'll change about this strategy. Actually, it looks like it might change anyways, because Gino's feared now. <laughs> yeah, I only did 80 now. Man, I love that damage. Alright, I think we should heal Gino up. Thank you. Yeah, actually let's use it let's use it a little earlier then. Oh, 
Oh boy, twice the amount of fear. Honestly, I might, might use another one. Eleven damage. Man, he just loves those fear hammers, I tell you. And now he's in overdrive phase. Love how he specifically takes them from Mallow. <laughs> he hates Mallow in particular. Like that damage. I used to be able to do 80, which is okay, I suppose. But Mario is gonna be the real MVP in this fight, since he's the, he's the only one who still hasn't been feared yet. Love that 206. Mm. Let's heal up Mario just to be safe. I'm not speedrunning, Seb. I'm just playing a ROM hack. Here's our last good spell of the battle. We're all on our own after this. Alright, we gotta out-damage him now. It's gonna be kind of hard, though, when we're not, like, doing anything. <laughs> and now Mario's feared. This is as bad as it's getting now. Uh-oh. <laughs> Chino's not doing very good. We're doing, like, 90 damage a turn now. <laughs> This is, like, most awfully bad, <laughs> as the Mr. Hoggle says in TTYD. Oh, Mallow, you can't- you can't live much longer. How are you not dead yet, bro? Alright, bye, Mallow. <laughs> Hopefully we can... You know, do just enough to win. But I don't think the fear even matters. And now Gino's dead. We're not doing, like, anything. Oh, we got him! We just barely got him! <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, thank god. I got another Lime Shroom back for that. That was hella clutch. We have 1,700 coins now. We actually have money! Hooray! Feels so nice to actually have money for a change. Yeah, I think Mario's gonna get Super Jump after all. No, yeah, I can fight a few Magmites. 
And by fight a few Magmites, I mean spam Ice Beam at them. Like it's Pokemon or something. Because that's how Pokemon works, guys. Yeah, I can't see these guys- I can't say these guys are the most fun to fight. Ha ha, you missed. Very nice. Yeah, you only got like two experience from those guys. It's not that worth it, honestly. Oh yeah. I should probably I should probably save scum, honestly. Because uh we come, we're coming up on a on a star in a second. So might be good actually to do that. Oh yeah, isn't like jump really good against these guys? Yeah, it is. <laughs> that, that, I love that goofy ass attack. They just stand in place and then ram into you. And they die. They explode and kill you. That's also really dumb. <laughs> well, it does a lot of damage if you don't block, obviously. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to, um... Save up. Yeah, follow the tracks. Actually, I kinda want that frog coin from the Shy Guy, so I'm gonna do that first. And then we'll go, like, star farm a bit. Cause this Shy Guy is great. He gives you a free frog coin. And that's just nice. There's no save point for a while, so we kinda have to, you know, manually leave the dungeon ourselves. It's a bit of annoying, but whatever. I'm cool with it. Oh yeah, I forgot. This is like kind of rare dialogue, actually. <laughs> you don't like, usually see that, because you don't usually leave the dungeon midway. I think I'm... No, I'm not fully healed at all. <laughs> we need to heal, and then save, and then grind a bit. I mean, the best grinding spot's gonna be in the sea, obviously. Yeah. You know, I'm gonna be honest, I could really go for a donut right about now. The only reason I'm not going to get one right now is because it's a Sunday, and the Sundays are just terrible days for going out to eat and stuff. Because, you know, everybody's out on a Sunday. So I'm just, I just decided, like, yeah, I'll go, um, I'll go, like, tomorrow instead. <laughs> I'll go to Timmy's and maybe try out a new donut that I've never had before. Kind of in the mood for one again, honestly. I try a bunch of kinds, like the, um, the Dutchy, the Sugar Twist. Um, I, there's another one I want to try called the Chocolate Walnut or something. I tried the Walnut Crunch last time, and that was kind of meh. Yeah, you know, the more I ha the more I have donuts, the more I realize that, like, Honestly, donuts are kind of just, like, not as good as I remember them being. Like, a lot of the, um, donuts at Timmy's, they just feel, like, dry and they're not warm at all, like I thought they would be. And I don't know, maybe it's just a personal preference, but I kind of like, you know, nice, warm, hot donuts. But, like, the donuts there are just kind of, like, room temperature and they don't really taste that great. Maybe I've just spoiled myself because I've had a bunch of, like, nice warm donuts in the past. That could be possible. 
But still, I am gonna go tomorrow, and I'll try some out. Well, I'll try one out. <laughs> Probably not gonna have multiple. You know, people- sometimes you can buy, like, boxes of 12 donuts. But, that's a bit overkill, honestly, if you ask me. Man, Gino's just getting bullied. I keep thinking Gino's gonna take a lot of damage. But then I remember that, like, yeah, he's got 150 health, so not really. <laughs> 20, 30 damage doesn't really feel like much anymore. Alright, we got three experience. Yeah, we could probably we could probably heal up Gino, I think. Mario's gotta be close to level now. Yeah, he's 14. Alright. Let's finally go, um. Let's finally go get some levels. Oh, boo. <laughs> Mario learned super jump. Hell yeah. Uh, I'll give Mallow more magic. This is exactly what I didn't want to have happen. I mean, I could easily, uh, die by having the, uh, enemies, um, just kill me. And I get feared, too. The thing is, it's not really that easy to die. So taking advantage of the, um, the Death Star thing. <laughs> Death Star. Taking advantage of that isn't really that easy. I feel like the enemies actually do, like, you know, a reasonable amount of damage. So anytime now, anytime now, you can die. Feared and muted. Still not, still not enough. Okay, there we go. There's my levels that I wanted. <laughs> All right, let's do it again, guys. Let's do it again. Watch out for that specific Magmite in particular. Wait a minute, why is Croco back? Didn't I kill him? Did I not save after blowing up the wall? I don't think I did. Uh-oh. Well, that's my bad. I could have sworn I saved. Okay, I guess we'll fight Croco again and get some more experience from him. Not what I was expecting to do, and not what I was trying to do either, but alright. I guess we're having a longer stream tonight. I still don't think Super Jump's gonna do very much, though. Chill out on the damage, would you? All 
Alright, now I think we can Sun Rhapsody safely. Boom. Mallow is close to dying, unfortunately. I'm glad he's feared and not someone important, like Gino or Mario. And now Mario's feared. Great. Thank you for the gracious heal. Alright, we're on top of the game here. Still gonna fireball though, because that's just the way to go. Yeah, 112. Mallow's still feared, unfortunately. Um, yeah, I think Jito needs some healing. Thank god I healed all my FP, though. This makes the second phase of Croco way easier. <laughs> FP is the savior of this fight. That's it. That's all he did that turn. I'm just gonna defend, then. Is he gonna go for the, um... Is he gonna go for the... The heal? Yeah, there it is. There's the heal. It's weird that it's called Super Mushroom and not, like, Lime Mushroom, you know? Yeah, Mal is just gonna be dead weight. Just, just, uh, don't even bother, honestly. Oh, it gives him extra defense. I didn't realize that's what ha was happening. The Super Mushroom gives him defense this whole time. Well, we want to do as much damage as possible, so, yeah. <laughs> Mal just can't catch a break. Oh, neither can Gino, apparently. Good, he missed. Wow, we're kinda we're kinda SOL here, aren't we? Oh and Mal or and Gino's dead. Is this fight gonna go the same? Nope. Yeah, I don't know why the fuck I didn't save after being Croco, but alright. That was on me, honestly. But hey, Gino leveled up, let's go. I say that was good then. We get a heal before the boss is okay. I'm just gonna take the star and you know go with that. It's a bit, it's a damn good thing that Croco fight wasn't that hard because I'm <laughs> I'm down to do it a second time honestly. Round 8 Beldorf Minecraft. 
Oh, fuck, I gotta go to the bathroom. Damn, I can't believe Nate Bildorf really had to go to the bathroom, guys. I didn't even ball. I didn't even want to fight this guy. I really cocked that star up. Lots of Moony. Uh, Mallow needs eight more. Honestly, I think we should get Mallow up to um, the next level so we can get Psychopath. I think it'll be worth it. I still find it interesting that Mallow is faster than all the party members in this game. Because normally Geno's the fast one. But now, you know, Mario's the slowest. Normally, it's like completely backwards. Is it 58 damage? Just casual 58 damage, no big deal. I find it funny how the bombs now explode when you kill them. Alright, let's find out if you guys are immune to ice or not. Because they use ice in the original. Yep, I had a feeling. Are you mean to jump? You're also mean to jump. Well, fuck me then. You also don't take very much for physical attacks. That's not cool. Oh yeah, there's that weird unused sound effect. <laughs> As far as I know, that is an unused sound effect. Try crystal. Hey, at least it's not stupidly overpowered at this time, doing like 70 damage. Because that shit was annoying when I have to fight Panda right with that. Sad, depressed Mallow. Man, this guy's gonna take a while to die, I bet. These, these guys are not worth fighting. Nine damage. Bro, why aren't you dead? How much health do you have? Jesus Christ. Do I have to burn you with fire or something? I might have to. Well, now I can't do shit because he's muted. I don't know how much health this guy has. He's, he's pretty tanky so far, though. Bro, die! Why aren't you dead? Am I just not able to kill this guy? Oh my god. This guy might be unkillable. Burn him then. <laughs> Burn his ass. Psych. Oh, now he's dead. Finally, geez. I only got three experience from that, too. Well, yeah, I think it's fair to use the flower vase now. Alright, I'll, I'll have to fight one more of those assholes. So you have to use fire on them to kill them? what it seems like, anyway.
Appreciate the freebie. Get the cluster out of here, he's annoying. Yeah, he just dies from a fire attack. I think that's the only way you can kill him. So many explosions. Nice, perfect block. I just want that level up for Mallow. Oh my god, 316 damage. Oh wait. He still didn't level up. He's one experience. Oh my god. Well, thankfully there's a free heal here. Is there, any, is, it, is there an easy enemy I can pick on? I don't think so. Oh, we can get- we can find a bunch of bombs. That's pretty easy pickings. Well, at least when- at least at once they're done taking their turn, that is. This just reminds me of the Punchinello rematch fight where you have to perfect guard all the bombs. <laughs> Even survive. Still find that pretty funny. Now Mallow can get his new spell. Data Drain. Whatever that is. Oh, oh, fuck off. Fuck off. I didn't want to fight you. You know what, actually? Might be worth it just to kill all these guys. And then just die. <laughs> yeah, it might be better to do it that way. Oh well, Mallow's dead, so we're kind of kind of shit out of luck now. And I still proceed to block them anyway. Because that's just what I do. <laughs> Bye, Mario. Yeah, it's better if I just die. Malo got his move, I'm happy. So he has data drain. Retrieve info on the enemy also reduces enemy stats. It costs 8 FP to use. That better be a damn good move then. If it costs that much. I think it's also fair if I use a flyer tab here for 33 FP. Alright, let's see how badly Punchinello goes. He's green now. Surprised I didn't change Croco's color. Alright, let's just see how much health he has. 2000. Mario, I see we're already famous.
Only 500, though. That seems kind of... Seems kind of skeptical. Also, let me make sure. You should still mean to jump, right? Yep. Okay. Just making sure. Maybe they'll still have this. Except they're gonna hurt way more now. <laughs> They didn't die. <laughs> it just reminds me of when Eggman's like, you can either die, die, or... <laughs> and then Elise is like, I don't think I'm gonna do any of those things. Hmm. <laughs> I do have Yoshi candy. Well, in that case, she's using the red shroom, then. Okay, they're actually dead properly. We'll have Mario use the Sun Rhapsody, I think. Because Gino just does so much. Mood, mood Serenade really sounds like something you'd hear in Sailor Moon, honestly. Like, no joke. <laughs> and we have Moon Healing Escalation. Why not Moon Serenade next? <laughs> Yeah, honestly, Punchinello is going to be a cakewalk. <laughs> he does not take much damage from fire. Let's up the ante. Oh, and these bombs are going to be so annoying. It might be better just to leave them alive. Even though their attacks are going to take a really long time. It'd be funny if uh, he did the thing that he doesn't arm again, where he, like, uses fire on the bob bombs to make them explode. Like, preemptively. I've always found that really funny. we can afford to use a um, Moon Serenade. Or, alternatively, we can use the Star Gust that we have. Oh, I got a freebie, even better. We won't be taking as much damage from these bombs. We'll just have Mallow on healing duty. We got some Sun Rhapsody. I mean, I'm gonna use the Sun Rhapsodies over the Moon Selenes if I ever have to. Because they're cheaper by a lot. <laughs> Only the Moon Serenades if I really have to. Boom. Yeah, we're, we're tanking things pretty well now. 68. Not bad. Okay. Okay, how many bombs do you have up there? <laughs> Six. Probably a good idea to heal with Mallow. This punch and all fight isn't really that hard, though. We're chilling over here. I mean, compared to his... Vanilla HP, 8, 2,000 doesn't really seem like all that much. Alright, Mezzo Bombs. Great ass name, by the way. Your bombs don't scare me. Oh, they actually have attacks now. <laughs> I 
Kind of crazy. It took them to tell now to give, give the Mezzo Bombs attacks. They're actually, like, threatening. And he doesn't have to respawn them every time. Alright, I think it's time for another Sun Rhapsody. Yeah. Boom. Okay, bully Mallow, will ya? That's the way she fucking goes, Rick. Yeah, I mean, we're doing the, doing that 150 every turn with with Gino is pretty damn good. I mean, I could afford to punch him for an extra 50. <laughs> Blame. Oh, he is he actually going to ignite them? Oh, never mind. I thought he was going to ignite the bomb. That would have been so funny if he did that. Alright, okay. We're going to target Mario now, I guess. Uh, running out of FP again, I think. Well, actually, I'm, I'm fine on FP, honestly. I can go another turn. If I can get away with not having to heal my FP, you know, so be it. Yeah, he's dead. That was a really easy punch and elbow fight. I still think it'd be really funny if he actually did summon the King Bomb. Someone needs to make a mod of that, where Punchinello does actually summon the King Bomb. And it actually does something. <laughs> like, he'll, he'll, it, actually, it actually is part of the fight. And he's actually able to control it without it killing him. Well, I mean, clearly it doesn't kill him, because he's able to survive in the remake, so... Does that mean, canonically, Punchinello doesn't die? <laughs> Because if so, that's kind of cool. <laughs> He's that much of a chad. He's able to survive an entire Big Bang. I'm actually getting kind of hungry, so it's pro I think it probably is for the best if we end it after the Punchinello boss fight. Well, and the minecart. The minecart is kind of just, you know... It's whatever. Also, yes, technically these are considered different palettes because... It, um, when I made, when I made Luigi RPG, they turned to normal for this cutscene. Not sure how that works, but it's just kind of a thing. Makes me wonder how Luigi Star Power is going to handle that. I don't remember which ROM hack it was, but I know there's a hack that lets see that it skips the minecart. Cause I mean to be honest, nobody cares about the minecart. <laughs> so it's playing this music for some reason. They replace one of the best songs in the game though. The minecart music is peak, bro. Can't just get rid of the minecart music. Also, I still have no idea how this damn minecart minigame works, by the way. <laughs> like, I'll use a mushroom and then sometimes, even though I'm breaking for like a solid like two seconds, I still fall off the damn racetrack for no reason. Makes no sense. Man, I love going fast. 
How come I can't how can I I can't can't get a good minecart RNG like this when I'm playing the rando? Yep, there it is. There it is again. <laughs> Take a jump on the can. Oh yeah, and also that turn for some reason caused you to break out. I don't know why. You can't break out. I'm saying it's like you're gonna get fucking acne or something. No, you're not gonna get acne just by um just by breaking on the minecart minigame. There we go. Oh, I jumped over one of the mushrooms. Two fifteen, that's pretty good. That's better than usual. I don't remember what my I don't I, I actually don't know what my best time for the minecart is, but that has to be one of the better ones. <laughs> I'm sad, there's no there's no um no minecart music. Even though it's like the best song in the whole game. Now I need to listen to that song later. I mean, I, like, I could check out Booster Pass, but honestly, I don't think I'm gonna. I'd go a little bit longer if I wasn't hungry, truth be told, but... Yeah. That's just kind of how it- that's just kind of how it goes. We're gonna sniff- sniffers. Oh yeah, right, they're called Sniffsters now. <laughs> You know, you know how funny it would be if someone went back to the to the remake? Or not the remake. Imagine if someone did a ROM hack where they went back to this game and they implemented all the text changes from the remake. Like calling those guys sniffsters, for example. Now that would be really stupid. But also that'd be funny at the same time. Someone do that, please. Alright, well I'm running out of sun rapsies, so I gotta buy some. Also, I haven't used my Star Gust yet, so... Oh yeah, because I got a freebie, that's right. Yeah, I think this looks good. Um... I could buy a... I could buy a life, Lime Shroom. I'm getting Lime Shroom and Life Shroom mixed up. Also, I gotta wonder something. Is the bomb... No, this is the wrong house. Is that, uh... Is that mold here? The one that lets you buy stuff. Okay, extra items. No. It, it seems completely unchanged. Firebomb, ice bomb. Hmm. You know, it's kind of tempting, actually. I need to I need to know something. I'm gonna save before I do this. This will be the last thing I do. Will this break the game? <laughs> I need to buy some mushrooms, though. I'm gonna buy some red shrooms. Just gonna stock up on them and sell them. I'm pretty sure they don't sell for very many points. Yes. Oh yeah, these do not sell for much at all. What else can I sell for points? 
Awakening sells for 50? Damn. The Moon Serenade sells for 12. Ooh. I sell those. Um, lime shrooms sell for a decent amount as well. Yeah. No. She keeps her points, right? Yeah. So I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna go buy some, uh, I'm gonna buy some lime shrooms then. I actually have a decent amount. Yeah, buy like a crap ton of these. Moon serenades and lime shrooms. Yeah, they're like they're worth around the same amount. I think lime shrooms are better though. Wrong house again. Keep in mind this is hypothetical. I don't know if this is good or not. We'll find out. I'll sell one red shroom. Just the one red shroom. Now if I sell three of those, I can buy an ice bomb. Yeah. There we go. Alright, I'm gonna buy the ice bomb. See, the ice blast. Is that the, that's the reusable item, right? That is. Oh shit. Did I just break the game? Hold up. Hold up. I need to go to, um. Uh, where's a good place to test it out? Probably Bandit's Way or something. Alright, let's test out. Let's test out Ice Blast. 185. Hmm. Now that. That is pretty good. So now I just have. Uh, now I, had, I can just spam that in every fight. Totally not overpowered or anything. Okay, so, um, honestly, I think that was worth it, because... Let me go to Tadpole Pond real quick. Also, I need to do this at some point. You know, okay, another thing I do before I end the stream, then. Uh, let me look up the Todovsky songs again, because I don't remember. I can never remember them. Oh, fucking... Browser would load, jeez. I just need to have this, like, taped to my, like, room or something. <laughs> Alright. Actually, I can do Moleville Blues as well, since I just finished Moleville. So, I believe it's... So, it's... I, 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 like, I remember parts of it. Oh, oh, the frickin' button presses. Yeah, there you go. That, that's, that part's easy to remember. I'm probably gonna make, like, some fries or chicken or something. Alright, and then we will reload and do the Moleville Blues as well. As long- assuming he's there. Yeah, so, if he's there, that means there's a song that you can do. So, let me look at the other one. So it's all the way, it's all the way over here, and then it's, 
here. And then... Three is, like, all the way at the edge here. And then... One to the left. There we go. So we have two of the salt. I mean, you don't get the last one until really late anyway, so... This is as good as the items we're gonna get for a little while. So let's see what his new and updated uh, shop is. We have Star Wind, Star Breeze, and you can buy flower tabs and flower vases. No wonder they're worth so much. Huh, Star Breeze, huh? Star Wind. This is basically a, um, what you call it. This is basically a freshen up, but it heals you, which is pretty good. Hmm. These items aren't bad, honestly. It's nice to have them. And honestly, I'm glad I, uh, I'm glad I invested in this stuff. Well, I'm just glad I have the Ice Blast, because now I don't have to spend my Frog Coins on that. I can save up for, like, the Hearts, not, or the Star Egg, or Galaxy Blast, or something. And these aren't- th these two aren't reusable. These are, though. So you get reusable Ice Bombs and Fire Bombs. Well, they're all reusable. And I don't know if this is good or not. Because in the original, Sheep Attack kills all the enemies, but it doesn't give them experience. Or, yeah, you don't get any experience from it, so I don't know if that's good or not. Probably not. And this is just a Caro Caro Pole that you can use over and over, so that's really OP. Kinda want that. Unfortunately, we won't be able to get most of these until later in the game when I can farm frog coins, which kinda sucks, but whatever. So I think we'll save in Moleville and we'll call it a day. We have Ice Blast now though, so that's pretty frickin' OP. Looking forward to playing this more this ROM hack some more, because it's pretty fun so far. Anyways, I'm gonna make some dinner and probably just call it a night. I don't think I'm gonna do anything else unless uh, someone bug bugs me in like an hour or something, I don't know. Uh, I'll see. But anyways, guys, thanks for watching uh, MarBG Masters. Make sure to like and subscribe on YouTube and Twitch. And um, I'll see you guys tomorrow where... Um, I don't know if I'm going to do a morning stream or not. But we're prob I'm probably going to play more Infernax with Jordan, I think. That's going to be fun. And then um, I might have another game planned that night. I kind of want to start a new series with Zack. Because we're kind I'm kind of in the mood. He showed me this really cool Plants vs. Zombies mod, and I want to try it out and maybe set it up. So, that might be something we do tomorrow. So, yeah, uh, I'll see you guys then, so take care.